78% of the people in America hate their jobs. Hate their job. I mean, think about that. That is depressing. The 78% hate the job because they, they got into the job not really having a plan. This is like a pilot stepping into the most sophisticated airplane in the world and flying around not knowing where to go. You have to know where you're going. Every weight I lifted, every set that I did, every time I went to the gym, it was for the specific reason to move me closer and closer to turn that goal, that vision into reality. Why do people shy away from big goals? Because they're scared of failing. Let me remind you that everyone fails. When you read Michael Jordan's book and failed, how many playoff games he lost, how many mistakes he made, I may fail, but every single time I will get up. Losers stay down, but winners get up. And they get up, and they get up, and they get up, and they get up. That is the bottom line. Today, the starring role in Hercules. I read that and I said to myself, wow, this is the blueprint for my life. This is exactly what I want to do. I want to become a bodybuilding champion, just like Reg Park. I want to get into movies, just like Reg Park. And I want to make millions of dollars and be rich and famous, just like Reg Park. What about Namaskar? Body and the accent that they attacked was an asset. I ask a studio executive. I say, I want to get into movies. I want to be a leading man. He started laughing. So they all say it's impossible. I say, why is it impossible? It's because look at how big you are. You weigh 250 pounds. And then they told me this, and your accent, even if you reduce all your body weight and everything, and have a normal body, your accent. He says, no one in Hollywood ever has become a leading man that had an accent. It doesn't happen. He said, no, you see, it's impossible. And plus your name, your name, who can pronounce Schwarzenschnitzel or something like that? No one can pronounce it, so forget about it, Arnold. This is the kind of thing that I heard. Imagine. You go from studio executive to studio executive, from agent to agent, from manager to manager, and they all said exactly the same thing. Now that's very encouraging, isn't it? But you know something? I didn't give a sh**. Because I believed that I can be a leading man. I believed that I could be another Clint Eastwood, or another Burt Reynolds, or another Warren Beatty, or whatever those characters were, Charles Bronson, and so on. I said, there's enough room on that ladder that I can fit up there. Can you imagine I was now a bodybuilder, I weighed 250 pounds, I was Mr. Olympia six times, I was Mr. Universe five times, I missed the world, I missed the international, I won 13 world bodybuilding championships all together. And now I said to the agent, the Hollywood agent, I want to get into movies. He said, <laughs> that's funny Arnold. I ask a 